cooking with Amy. Hi, good morning, everybody. Let's I have cooking. a delicious recipe that I'm so excited about. It's one of the recipes in my latest cookbook. And if Let's you like uh, meatloaf, and I happen to love it, this is a winner. It is seriously a winner. Even people who don't like meatloaf love this recipe. Just three ingredients, that's the best part. And we're making it a little healthier. We're using ground turkey instead of ground beef. So the first thing we did is uh, picked up a box of your favorite chicken or turkey flavored stuffing mix and prepare it according to package directions. So just read the back of the box and you can do it in the microwave or on the stove top, but it's real important to do this ahead of time a little bit because you need to let this stuffing mix cool. So if you're in a real hurry, you can throw the stuffing, prepared stuffing in the freezer to get it chilled real quick, or you can make it in the morning and throw it in your fridge and then whip this together after work. So meat, our, our stuffing is prepared and cooled, chicken or turkey stuffing according to box directions. Now I picked up a pound and a quarter of ground turkey and then one extra large egg. Told you, just three ingredients, that's it. So I'm gonna add my egg to my turkey and then I've got my cooled stuffing mix. Now it's real important also to spray the pan you're doing this in. I'm doing it in a loaf pan. You could also do this free formed. I just cleaned my hands, washed my hands. So really like all meatloaf, the best way to do it is just get in there with your hands. A couple of fun additions that you could do, being this is kind of like Thanksgiving dinner um, with the stuffing mix and the turkey, you could add dried cranberries or you could put cranberry sauce. You could dry, you know, the dried cranberries right in the mix or you could put uh, cranberry sauce on top when you bake it. Uh, my kids love this with ketchup on top though, so that's up to you if you want to put a little ketchup, maybe a little brown sugar on top. So in this goes into my loaf pan. get it all in there. It's a little bit messy, but you know, that's how meatloaf goes. And this is going to take uh, quite a bit to bake. You know, it is poultry. You want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. So a good hour or more. And again, it's up to you if you want to put some cranberry sauce or some ketchup on the top. I always do it with a little bit of ketchup. All right, here's our meatloaf out of the oven. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Because we sprayed that pan really well, it's gonna come right out. And we'll be, cut, be able to cut it into nice pieces. Makes great meatloaf sandwiches. Picked up some mashed potatoes from the deli at Festival Foods, steamed up some broccoli or a nice salad. And this is so delicious. Cuts up wonderfully. This is a winner. You can get this recipe on our website. You can also pick it up at any area of Festival Foods, and it's also one of the recipes in my latest cookbook.